And people can turn the most unbearable tragedy into an extraordinary gift. And that's just what our next winner, Natalia Aggiano, has done. She's given me back my son, really. She's given him a future, which he didn't have. I haven't got the words to describe what she's done for me. There are very few of us that have that kind of generosity inside of us. Natalia Aggiano is one of the few. But there was a time when there was little hope of Natalia bringing joy to anyone. At just 17 years old, Natalia's mentally ill father stabbed her mother to death in their home. I was left with the legacy of my mum's murder, this tragic death that had happened, um, and all this sadness. Natalia's life spiralled into drug abuse and despair. Got into situations that I shouldn't have got into, and just depression. It was all about depression. Determined to change her story, Natalia set about rebuilding her life. I was fed up with people Googling my name, and it come up with this tragic story about this murder. I wanted someone to Google my name, and something good, happy, and shocking would have come up on it. So she took inspiration from her late mother and made an extraordinary decision. When I was little, it was very important to my mum that we had a donor card. But unfortunately, the way she died, she couldn't donate any of her parts. And I know she would have been absolutely mortified that she couldn't have done that. So I decided that I'd give my kidney to somebody that needed a kidney and save a life in memory of my mum. Five years ago, Chris Bowstead contracted Legionella. On life support, he spent a harrowing nine weeks in hospital. They thought I was going to die on a couple of occasions. They sort of realised that, you know, I was that ill. They didn't expect me to survive. Chris had suffered kidney failure and faced a life on dialysis. Without a transplant, life is desperate. We know that people die waiting for a transplant. Um, and it's an existence rather than life itself. I used to wonder, you know, if it was still happen next Christmas. Mm. It's quite hard. <laughs> but after four years, thanks to Natalia, Chris was told there was a match. I remember the day. I can remember that, those moments still when I got the news. I mean, it makes you look at your own life, doesn't it? Because would you do that for someone? I don't know if I would. By giving someone new life, Natalia got the story she wanted. If my mum was, could see me now, I think my mum would have been very shocked that I'd done it. Um, but she'd be so proud. She would have been proud that I'd done something for her. It's a lovely thought that, you know, her mother would have been so proud of her. And I'm sure her mother would have been... Oh, sorry. <laughs> What do you think your mum will be saying to you now? She'd be very proud. <laughs> she would, wouldn't she? I need to say thank you, though. I wouldn't have been able to do it without my best friend, Jo, who was the first person I told and didn't think I was crazy <laughs> or mad, and was the first person that said, who's going to look after you? I will, she said, and, and looked after me for three months. And also my brother is with me. I know our mum would be very proud of us today. It's time now to meet someone that we girls all love. He's a heartthrob, he's immensely talented, and he is a rock legend. Here is John Bon oh Jovi. <laughs> You know, there are those who give of themselves, and then there are those who give of themselves. I mean, you, you went above and beyond, and you're an inspiration, and you're the inspiration for me tonight, and I want to thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. Also winning tonight, ITV local hero. Terry and Anne Panks. Who've taken into their home in Withenshaw, Manchester, an incredible number of homeless young men. 30 years, yes, uh, and we were told it was over a thousand. Over a thousand. 
It's my honour and it's a real pleasure to give you this award.